giving us a glimpse into remote areas that were previously the great unknown. The James Webb Telescope, as the most powerful space telescope of all time, the $10 billion instrument will help us in the near future to understand the cosmic spectacles around us more precisely than ever before. From studying the universe's first luminous formations, to probing exoplanets, to exploring black holes, stars, and galaxies, Webb will present the universe to us in an entirely new light. Although the ambitious mission is only just getting off the ground, both experts and interested laymen have already been able to enjoy many breathtaking Webb images. In today's video, you can find out which impressive motifs the Space Telescope has already captured and what exciting insights the images contain. Excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and mind-blowing spectacles in the cosmos? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're motivating us and showing that we can keep you excited with the content of our videos. Neptune's Rings When the keyword ring planet comes up, images of the famous Saturn immediately come to mind. However, in view of the thousands and thousands of orbits around the sixth planet of the solar system, we should not forget that some other celestial bodies are also adorned by such natural formations. Among them is also the remote ice giant Neptune, which as the eighth and outermost representative marks out the edge of our native planetary system. Compared with the ring system of Saturn, however, that of Neptune presents itself far more sparsely. Most of the material composition is due to microscopic dust particles, specifically those tiny fragments kicked up by small meteorites on Neptune's moons. After Neptune's rings were first discovered in the 1980s, it was initially assumed that the orbits were incomplete an assumption that was to be disproved, however, by the direct investigations of Voyager 2. And indeed, it was to take three decades before the rings of Neptune were again captured on film. However, the modern web images are not comparable to the images from the late 1980s. Captured in the infrared spectrum, the delicate rings of the ice giant appear sharper and more detailed than ever before. But that's not all. The moons Nyad, Thalassa, Despina, Galatea, Larissa, Proteus, and Triton are also clearly visible in the image. Discovered in 1846, Neptune has captivated researchers for many decades. The bluish, shimmering celestial body is on average about 3 billion miles away from the Sun, and thus 30 times farther than the Earth. In fact, our mighty host star appears so small and faint in this remote location that midday on Neptune is more than a faint twilight. Meanwhile, the fact that the planet greets us in a characteristic shade of blue is due to the existence of methane. This chemical compound is known to absorb red light. However, at about 1.5%, methane makes up only a small component of the overall chemical composition. At about 80%, Neptune is composed mainly of hydrogen, completed by helium and ethane. The bright streaks and spots seen in the web image, however, are methane ice clouds. The thin, bright line adorning the planet along the equator, in turn, may be a visible sign of global atmospheric circulation driving the winds on the ice giant. As the atmosphere sinks and warms at the equator, it shines brighter on the infrared image than the surrounding cooler gases. The fact that the aforementioned Neptune moon Triton clearly outshines its planetary fixed point is due to its high albedo. Its surface, covered in condensed nitrogen, reflects an average of 70% of incident sunlight. With temperatures of minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, Triton is also the coldest known object in the solar system. Some researchers suspect that the satellite originally came from the Kuiper belt and was only gravitationally captured later. Tarantula Nebula At a distance of about 163,000 light-years lies the home of a cosmic spider, this so-called Tarantula Nebula, whose scientific name is 30 Doratus, embodies a strikingly bright emission nebula. The Tarantula Nebula is not only part of the large Magellanic Cloud, but also one of the largest known cradles of stars within the local group. 
And indeed, the corresponding web images provide us with a novel insight into the stellar nursery, in this case as well. In addition to the young stars, we can also spy distant background galaxies here, as well as trace the structure and composition of gas and dust in detail. In fact, the Tarantula Nebula also hosts the hottest and most massive stars known. Viewed through Webb's NearCam, the structure almost resembles the home of a burrowing tarantula, lined with countless cobwebs. That the center of the nebula presents itself as a gaping cavity is again due to the strong radiation from a group of massive young stars, which sparkle pale blue in the image. The densest areas, again, form columnar formations containing the accreting protostars. As soon as the glistening bright celestial bodies emerge from their dusty cocoons, they too will help shape the nebula. And indeed, Webb's near-infrared spectrograph caught a very young star doing just that. Beforehand, astronomers had suspected that it would be a somewhat older celestial body. However, near-spec showed the experts that the star is just beginning to break free from its pillar and is still surrounded by an insulating layer of dust. The Tarantula Nebula is also of great interest to researchers because its chemical makeup resembles those massive cradles of stars that existed during cosmic noon. At that time, when the universe was only a few billion years old, star birth was experiencing a veritable boom. So the study of 30 Doritas should help us understand better than ever the sequence of events during that radiant peak. Although mankind has been looking at the stars for thousands of years, the shining objects are still shrouded in mystery. This is mainly because the telescopes of the past were not able to look behind the dense clouds of these star-forming regions. So, the unprecedented insights Webb gives us will rewrite the history of star formation. A Glimpse into an Alien World As briefly mentioned at the outset, Webb's work in the coming years will include the in-depth study of exoplanets. Atmospheric analysis of these alien cosmic worlds will also help answer one of the oldest questions in human history. Are we alone in the universe? So far, experts have succeeded in tracking down 5,120 exoplanets in 3,790 different systems. However, this galactic search for clues should not yet bring to light a planet that is undoubtedly habitable, let alone the existence of extraterrestrial life. The fact that the planet, which Webb illustrated recently directly, serves as homeland of extraterrestrial life forms is likewise considered as impossible. Here it concerns a gas giant, which consists of volatile chemical connections and consequently possesses no firm surface. And yet, this planetary portrait provides pictorial proof of Webb's unrivaled capabilities. The extrasolar celestial body, which bears the official designation HIP 65426b, was captured on image in various parts of the infrared light spectrum. The fact that the alien planet is not outshone by its central star is due to the so-called coronagraph, which blocks the radiated starlight making the exoplanet visible. The researchers, who participated in the observation as part of an international collaboration, call the direct image of the exoplanet a defining moment for all of astronomy. In detail, the celestial body has about 6 to 12 times the mass of mighty Jupiter. Further analyses will help to narrow down the corresponding value even more precisely. The exoplanet is about 100 times further away from its host star than the Earth is from the Sun. With an age of 15 to 20 million years, the exoplanet is still in its cosmic infancy. A short classification, our terrestrial home was already formed 4.5 billion years ago. The existence of HIP 65426b was revealed in 2017 when the planet was detected using the SPHERE instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. Given the power of the Webb coronagraph, experts were ecstatic. In the past, it was still extremely difficult to image exoplanets directly because stars are much brighter than their planetary companions. The imaged celestial body is 10,000 times fainter in the near-infrared than its parent star. Although the image is not the first direct image of an exoplanet, it is groundbreaking for Webb's future research mission. Thus, the Space Telescope will continue to provide many more images of such alien worlds in the years to come. Deciphering these subjects will, in turn, help elevate our understanding of their physics 
chemistry, and formation to a whole new level. And who knows, perhaps the use of the James Webb Telescope will also one day provide an answer to the question of whether or not we are alone in the cosmos. And now it's your turn. What do you think about the exciting Webb mission and the stunning images the Space Telescope has already taken? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting articles on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.